In the next chapter we will start neutron radiography. So neutron radiography is a form of non-destructive inspection that uses a specific type of particle radiation called neutrons from the to form a radiographic image of a test piece. Same as RT. The geometric principle of shadow formation and various attenuation with the test phase thickness and many other factors that govern the exposure when processing of neutron radiograph are similar to those of radiography using X-rays, gamma rays. The topic is extensively covered in the article, radiographic inspection. Neutron radiography is similar to conventional radiography in the both technique. Employ radiation beam intensity modulation by an object to image microscopic object details. X-ray and gamma rays are replaced by neutrons by the penetrating radiation in a through transmission inspection. The absorption characteristic of the matter for X-ray and neutron differ based drastically the two technique in general service uh, to component to, to complement one another So neutron radiography is not accomplished by the direct imaging on film because neutrons do not expose X-ray emulsion efficiently. In one form of neutron radiography, the beam of neutrons impedance on a conversion screen or a detector made of material such as dysprosium, indium, which absorbs the neutrons and become radioactive, decaying with a short half-life. In this method, the conversion screen alone is exposed in the neutron beam, then immediately placed in contact with film to expose it by autoradiography. So in another common form of imaging, a conversion screen that is immediately emits secondary radiation is used with film directly in the neutron beam. So, what are they? Let's still see. Neutron source. The excellent discrimination capabilities of neutrons generally refer to neutrons of low energy, that is thermal neutrons. The characteristic of neutron radiography corresponding to various range of neutron energy is summarized. Although any of these energies ranges can be used for radiography, this article emphasizes thermal neutron range. Do not go too much inside this. The specimen, the conversion screen. In the film. So nuclear reactor is the main source of neutron. Low voltage accelerators, high energy X-ray machines, Bendy graph accelerators. 
So they are the neutron sources. Attenuation of neutron beams. So true absorption of neutron occur when they are captured by nuclei. They are controlled by moderator. Moderator means deuterium, tritium. So hydrogenous metal. The schematic neutron radiography with film. So neutron, the object, that is film, in the cassette, and the converter, front screen, converter, film. back screen when there is another neutron object transformations transfer screen then cassette and film schematics of renewal neutron radiography what are the difference let us see direct exposure method conversion screen of the thin gadolinium foil or a scintillator have been most widely used in the direct exposure method. When bombarded with a beam of neutrons, some of the gadolinium atoms absorb some of the neutrons and then promptly emit gamma rays. The gamma rays in turn produce internal conversion electron that actually exposes the film. These are directly related to intensity to the intensity of the neutron beam. Scintillators on the other hand, are fluorescent materials often made of zinc sulfide crystal that also contain specific isotopes lithium, beryllium, and boron in a neutron beam. These isotopes react with neutrons as follows. The alpha particles emitted as a result of these reactions cause zinc sulfide to fluoros, which in turn expose the film gadolinium. Oxysulfide, since a scintillator originally developed for conventional radiography, is now widely used for neutron radiography. These are the questions direct, what is direct, what is indirect. Scintillators, what is scintillators, what is the mechanism, that's all. Scintillators provide useful image with total exposure as low as 5 in 10 to the power 5 neutron per centimeter square. The high speed and favorable relative neutron gamma response of the scintillator make them attractive for use in the non-reactor neutron source for high intensity sources. Gadolinium screens are widely used. Gadolinium screens provide greater uniformity and image sharpness. High contrast resolution 10 micrometer or 400 micro inch has been reported, but an exposure of about 30 or more time of the scintillator is required, even with the fast films. Excessive background radiation should be kept to a minimum because it can have a detrimental effect on image quality. Do not go to mechanism too much. They will ask what is direct why it is used. So just remember the techniques. In the transfer method, there is another indirect or transfer method, a thin sheet of metal called transfer screen, which is usually made up of indium or dysprosium, is exposed to neutron beam transmitted through the specimen. Neutron capture by isotope Indium or dysprosium induced radiography. Indium having a half life of 54 minutes and dysprosium half life of 
2.35 hours, the intensity of radioactive emission from each area of transfer screen is directly related to the intensity of portion of the transmitted neutron beam that induced radiography in the area. The radiograph to be interpreted is made by placing the radioactive transfer screen in contact with the sheet of film. The beta particle and the gamma ray emission from the transfer screen exposes the film. With the film density is various portions of the developed image being proportionally related to the intensity of radioactive emission. Real-time imaging in which light from scintillator is ob observed by the television camera can also be useful for neutron radiography because of low brightness. Most real-time neutron radiographic images are enhanced by image intensifier tube, which may be separate or integral with the scintillator screen. The method can be used for such application as the study for fluid flow in a closed system or the study of metal flow in a mold during casting. Application thermal neutron radiography used to determine size of highly radioactive neutral foil elements. This indirect method is used for radioactive materials, the transfer method. And the direct method, direct exposure for general purpose. We'll see what is the use. And in radiographic, that is transfer method. Indium response technique or determining internal details of highly radioactive nuclear fuel elements. All transfer type. Use up for conventional and neutron radiography to interpret an explosive device for correct assembly. These are direct methods. So, a conventional radiograph of a FTMM long explosive device, neutron radiography reveals detailed paper, explosive con component and the plastic component not revealed by X-ray. Because it is absorbed by the hydrogenous things, so you can even detect something, water inside the wall or something. some other things inside by inside but you cannot uh, understand by x-ray or radiography use of neutron radiography to detect corrosion in aircraft component same water or human humid environment so water can be detected by this neutron radiography. Hydrogenous substance to detect. Typically hydroxides, water containing oxides. This corrosion produce contains hydrogen. So you can well understand all these things. Thermal neutron radiograph of aluminum honeycomb aircraft component showing early evidence of hydrogen corrosion. Use of neuro neutron radiography to detect corrosion in adhesive bound aluminum honeycomb structure. Standard plate for aluminum corrosion detection contains this, this and this. Effect of bonding adhesive on the quality of neutron radiographs obtained when checking for aluminum corrosion in honeycomb structure. Radiographs taken normal to the specimen surface, tilted at an angle other than 90 to specimen surface. Use of neutron radiography to verify welding of dissimilar materials 
titanium and niobium, exotic metal welded joints, product of extremely cold environment, of space and man's desire to explore the vast emptiness of space. For space vehicle, at altitude control rockets provide the fine touch of proper vehicle alignment. Thermal neutron radio radiography provides the image required to ensure quality welds. The defect standard weld shows the porosity at the seam and the similar thermal neutron attenuation for both titanium and niobium, formerly known as columbium. For comparison of X-ray radiograph image, also shown. So X-ray and radiograph of a titanium medium welded joint. The use of neutron radiography to detect core material still remaining in the interior cooling passage of air cooled turbine blades. So you can see anything. Is there remaining inside? There is something here. By arrow they are showing. Here something is there for the blade. Thermal neutron radiograph of 12 turbine blades stacked with gadolinium solution. One of the 12 blades located in the top row and second from the left contains residual core material. This. Use of neutron radiography to verify position of explosive charges and sitting of o-ring seals in explosive bolt assemblies. And its radiography. Application of neutron radiography to determine Potting fill levels in encapsulated electronic filters. Okay, thank you, gentlemen. This is for neutron radiography and RT.